From my perspective, uh, we in the Air Force are at one of those pivot points that you have in your career. And we have to recognize the norm that we know today is not going to be what's going to be like tomorrow. And we have to change and adapt to that. If you look at what we've had to do in theater and Afghanistan, totally different way of delivering logistics than we've ever delivered uh, in the history of the Air Force, and we've done it. The reality is today we have the world's greatest air, space, and cyberspace force. Uh, and so we ought to be tremendously proud of that. And much of our success today is based upon the job that our young airmen, uh, both on the flight line and throughout the logistics enterprise, the job that they do. The real question is, though, is good enough really good enough? Uh, we have a lot of budget pressures out there. We have a lot of political pressures. We have a lot of, uh, a, a lot of churn going on in our Air Force. So this is a perfect time uh, to make the bold moves necessary uh, to propel uh, our United States Air Force to be even greater than it is. I don't think that we're starting all over. I think we're building off the successes that we've already had in ELOG 21. We're doing some more focused efforts that should allow us to get to the airmen quickly. I think the timing is exactly right. I think we're hungry for it. We need it. And um, I don't know, our warfighter needs it. This is really an opportunity to kind of craft a way forward, to develop our own vision, to control our own destiny. You're seeing a coalition of the willing come together a uh, coalition of the cooperative, if you will, of all of the MAGCOM A4s, all of the logistics community coming together to rally around a common purpose of being more efficient with the resources that we're given while still delivering the same amazing combat capabilities that our Air Force is world renowned for. Our goal is to ensure that not only are we relevant, but that we are best postured to be as successful because our Air Force needs us that way, and more importantly, our nation needs us that way.